Music! It's one of my favorite things about video games. Why do you think the only two people I've ever collabed with were both YouTube musicians? Good music can make the difference between a level just being fun versus it being a memorable and thrilling experience, and when it comes to music, few games can compare to the Mega Man series. Mega Man music just has this magic to it. There's something incredible about the simplicity of these catchy 8-bit tunes, and yet there's a level of masterful complexity that resonates with your very soul. No? Okay, maybe it's just me then. Anyway, Mega Man music is fucking awesome. So awesome that attempting to do one top 10 video covering the entire series would be next to impossible, so here are my top 10 picks for the best music tracks for Mega Man Classic. So that's 1 through 10 if you're wondering. Here we go! Diveman's theme sounds to me exactly like what a Robot Masters level theme should sound like. It's catchy, upbeat, funky, and to me even feels fitting for an underwater level. Uh. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of Dive Man as a robot master, but his level is definitely a cool one. From its kick-ass whale submarine mini-bosses to its various spiky hazards, Dive Man's stage and theme all contribute to the feel of raiding an undersea military base, and to me, that's just a kick-ass concept. Alright, let's get this over with. Yes, this track fucking rules, there's no denying it. But to me, this is the don't stop believing of Mega Man music. This is the one everyone knows and recognizes, and for good reason! I'm not hating y'all! After all, this track did beat like hundreds of other songs to make it onto this list. It's very good. It's catchy and fast paced and creates the perfect mood for taking your first steps into Dr. Wily's fortress. It has just enough eeriness to it to make you reminisce on the fact that you did just murder eight of your own kind. But while this is a fantastic Mega Man track, I think there are those out there that are stronger, and this one might be just a tad overrated. Oh, Mega Man 6, you beautiful, underrated gem of a game. I'm sorry Mega Man 5 had to come along and make everyone give up on the series, but you truly shine brighter than most Mega Man games out there. No offense if you like Mega Man 5. Anyway, I digress. Mega Man 6's opening theme is fantastic, and I also count the title theme in this because the opening flows into it so nicely that they sound like the same track. The slow buildup used while introducing the eight robot masters creates an awesome sense of suspense, and when the track kicks into high gear, it just gets me so pumped! Man, I love this game! I love it so much I did a whole playthrough of it last year wearing nothing but the punchy armor. Go watch it! If there's a Mega Man boss theme out there that feels like the most absolutely quintessential Mega Man boss music, it's this one. Man, Mega Man 2 had some great music, and that's probably part of the reason that that Mega Man game is so popular. Anyway, this track is great. The build-up in the beginning is perfect for introducing the Robot Master and watching their health bar fill up. For anyone playing a Mega Man game for the first time, this music makes the boss introduction feel so memorable. It's simple, has a driving, techno-like beat, and it's just frantic enough to get your heart racing while you face off against any of the game's eight very memorable robot masters. Oh snap! A Mega Man 7 track? Okay, we all know Mega Man 7 wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't bad. The music wasn't the greatest, but it also wasn't bad. But hey, at least it's not Mega Man 8. Bass's theme interrupts the also very good intro stage theme to present you with two brand new characters, Bass and Treble, who become staples of the Mega Man series and fan favorites. What's awesome about this track is that it's very much driven by that solid bass line, and the rest of the music builds on top of it to make the encounter feel very important. Not like you're fighting just some scrub. This guy matters, and the music is letting you know. It's too bad the Mega Man 8 version of this track sounds like it was remixed by a meth head, like pretty much all of Mega Man 8's music. Oh well. You wanna talk about some intense fucking music? Look no further than Yellow Devil's theme from the very first Mega Man game. Technically, this is the music that plays when you fight all of the Wily stage bosses, but for some reason this track was always heavily associated with the Yellow Devil fight. It probably has something to do with how fucking hard he is! or how unsettling the music is. It almost has this horror feel to it. And when you see these yellow globs flying in from off screen to create this giant yellow massive slime for the first time, you're probably a little freaked, and rightly so. This guy is one of the hardest bosses in Mega Man history. It's such a weird and memorable boss. Everything you fought up to this point has been some kind of machine, something very tangible. But this guy, he's something entirely different. Oh, 
I'm sorry, was that last one not intense enough for you? Mega Man 3 is another game with some damn fine music, but holy flaming shitballs, this track is bananas. It's probably the single most frantic sounding boss music from the entire classic Mega Man series, which is exactly how Mega Man boss music should be. It just makes me want to rock out. <laughs> music is also used for the final boss fight with the giant robot Gamma, which is fitting, although I feel like this music should have been exclusively used for the Gamma fight and some other track for the other Wily stage bosses. I've always thought final boss fights should have their own unique music, and that's probably because I grew up playing Mega Man games where they did have their own music, starting with Mega Man 4. Anyway, this song kicks ass. Diggity damn! Flashman's theme has gotta be one of the most memorable Robot Master themes out there. It's so good, as a matter of fact, that I use a remix of it as my theme music. It's also worth mentioning that a part of this song matches up insanely well with one of my favorite Metallica songs, Seek and Destroy. Check this shit out. This music and stage have such a special place in my heart. Ever since I started playing Mega Man on the NES as a wee child, I always started with Flash Man because I found him to be pretty easy to beat. But I wasn't that good at Mega Man yet, so I often spent a lot of time on this level and never progressed further than that. But everything about this stage is great. It's not just a boring ass ice level. As a matter of fact, it's one of the only ice levels out there that isn't infuriating beyond comprehension. And I only call it an ice level because the floor is sliding. Who knows what these blinking blue bricks are? Whatever they are, they create a visual spectacle unlike anything on the NES and make this level a joy to experience. Explore. Oh wait, this video is about the music. Oops! I might be alone in putting Top Man's theme so high on the list, but man, there is something about this track that speaks to my very soul. I love the little intro at the beginning. It creates this almost whimsical, carnival-like feel, and then immediately jumps into this super high-tempo, high-energy, beat-driven tune that actually kind of gives the sensation of spinning, like a top. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But I think this is the best pairing of music and level in all of classic Mega Man. This track is easily one of the most complex Mega Man themes out there. This song has multiple sections and breakdowns, and a flawlessly executed turnaround to bring you back to the beginning. I'm trying not to do too much music nerd talk in this video, but damn. Top Man's theme is fucking brilliant. So I had a lot to choose from here, and it was kind of a bummer that I didn't get to put in a few of my favorites, so I'm gonna show you guys a few honorable mentions here. Here we are at last. Mega Man 3's opening theme isn't just a masterpiece as far as Mega Man music is concerned. This track is a straight up work of art. Easily one of the most recognizable tunes out there from the Mega Man series, Mega Man 3's opening theme is just beautiful. I actually remember the first time I heard this. Mega Man 3 is different from the others in that it doesn't give you a prologue or a Capcom logo or anything like that. You just press the power button and this song starts. Sure, you're at the title screen, and you could press start and begin the game, but why not sit and enjoy this somber, bluesy tune? The intro section of this song feels so emotional to me, like the game is on your level and knows what you went through in the past two games to get here, and then the sudden change to the upbeat, heroic second half of this track feels almost as if you've accepted your own fate as one who must destroy his own kind for everlasting peace. I don't know, maybe I read too much into this shit. If you're a huge fucking nerd about this stuff like I am, let me know your favorite classic Mega Man tracks in the comment section and discuss with one another. 
I love talking about this shit. 